Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 20th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new series. That would help us a lot. So we'll start by looking at the um, S&P 500. And as you can see, we have, well, it has been a roller coaster of a day, especially the cryptocurrency market was particularly interesting. And people that want to see my technical analysis of the cryptocurrency market, I'll upload it uh, later on tonight. So as you can see, we fell towards uh, 4,061 and found major support down at this range. There was a lot of uh, volatility at the end of the US session, mainly due to um, expected interest rates increases earlier. Uh, but uh, basically, the market shrugged that off and rally after falling quite a bit. If you look at technical indicators, they do favor the downside. So this is a fairly bullish candlestick. And due to the fact that we have tested this range the, basically three times now, um, that kind of says that we are ready to go higher. So 4,200, 4,400, that could be our target. If we break below these uh, previous candlestick here, we could drop to 4,000, and that should be a massive support down at that, um, at that level. If 4,000 breaks, then we are looking at 200. But this candlestick here it does look very favoring the upside, even though these technical indicators are all bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So very similar here with the Dow Jones, it fell towards uh, 33,500 and then rallied. And we have tested that area um, also uh, three times now the last uh, few trading days. Technical indicators are looking fairly bearish, but this kind of sick and the pressure uh, buying at the end of the session, that is a fairly good uh, signal that we may go and test at 35,000. If that basically breaks, then we're looking at 35,536,000. ,000. If we break below here, then 32,500, and even the 200 moving average will come into play. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, well, it was basically all over the place, but also here, very encouraging that 13,000 has been massive support. So it also was massive support here where we took quite a time in order to break to the upside. So if you look at technical indicators, they are also very bearish for NASDAQ. We have been falling. May, May has been a, a horrible month for tech. And um, this is a fairly encouraging candlestick. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average and the 20 expansion moving average, then we're looking at the 13,000, 13,500, and probably 15,000. But we are having a crossing of the 20 and the 50 exponential moving average. Um, so that is a worrying sign because the last time we did that, this happened. So we did have a very similar move here, drop, tested this area twice. Then we have a crossing here and then bang. Uh, and that basically means that we'll drop towards the 200 moving average down here at 12,560, give or take. So... Um, just keep that in mind, that usually is a sign that we could drop significantly further. But this is a very bullish candlestick. So we'll probably see tomorrow where we are going to trade with this. This is a, a very volatile market and probably going to be really volatile tomorrow as well. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is... Um, also testing roughly 15,000, which has been massive support. Uh, we are trading just underneath the 20 exponential moving average at uh, give or take 15,172. But this is a fairly bullish candlestick. Technical indicators do favor the downside, so we may see a lot of choppiness before uh, taking off to the upside. If we were to break below 15,000, then we could drop all the way down to 14,000 and the 200 moving average down here at 13,700. But we are in uptrend and the 50 moving average is holding really well. But target here will most likely be 15,500 and probably 16,000. So UK, the FTSE. So FTSE as well, tested the 50 moving average. We saw it here, got down there and then rallied. The same goes for today, got towards the 50 and then rallied. Are we trading just underneath the 20 exponential? If you have an opening above the 20 exponential, then it's a fairly... 
good indication that we'll go and test the top of the bullish band again at roughly 7,120. Um, but if we start rallying here and take out this uh, previous size, then we'll probably go into 7,200. If we break below the 20, uh, the 50, uh, 50 moving average, then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average or, or towards 6,500. Technically, do favor the downside, but this is a very bullish candlestick. The last time we had a similar candlestick was right over here, and this basically happened. So we tested the top of the bullish band before breaking down. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 has been rallying the last of, for last of few trading days and hit the top of the bullish band, and now we're go probably going to test the 50 and moving average again. Technically, leaders like the MACD are bullish, the stochastic is still bullish, the CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. But pull back and a bounce from the 50, that could be an indication that we are ready to go to 18,000 and then beyond. This has been an absolute train wreck for the last few months, but now it looks like we have, we have at least broken the 50 moving average and are going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential on 50, which is a fairly encouraging sign. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.